Hello everyone, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. All right, sorry about that. Somebody was at the door, ringing the doorbell, so I had to, you know, they weren't going to stop, that's for sure. So anyway, what I was getting up on here saying is this. This is just the truth. The difference between, I was talking about Dr. Miles Monroe taught us the difference between facts and principles. Dr. Miles Monroe was my mentor. And one thing he said, and I just love him. Because that man lived the life. And one day I'm going to tell y'all <laughs> some stuff one day. No, not today. God didn't release me on why. <laughs> y'all just don't know. I'm a, I'm a second version of him. He was not playing. Especially about laws that were getting ready to, that were passed in this country. He, he didn't like it. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But one thing he taught us, he said, fact is fact that can actually be proven wrong but principles which are God laws can never be proven wrong because there's God laws so with that being said I present to you now I want y'all to know something we're to love everybody but we're not to have fellowship with the darkness we're not now we're now here's the deal let's say God sent me to and believe it or not I actually used, used to minister to the stars when I was in LA I would minister to them I will pray with them, but I'm not rolling with you because no, that's different. I love you, but I can't roll with you because we don't believe in the same things. And I don't want to, the Bible says even, uh, abstain from the appearance of evil. So let's go ahead with this, what I'm getting ready to say. So y'all understand what I'm coming from. Ephesians 5, 11 says, King James Bible says, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Y'all always want to talk about somebody judging. What does that say? I'm going to read it one more time for you people that act like you don't hear. King James Bible, Ephesians 5, 11 says, and have no fellowship. What that mean? That mean don't hang with them. Y'all know what that mean? Act crazy if you want. With the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. All right. So let's go here. I'm going to read everything it says, okay? Apostate, apostate gospel singers and bishops coming together, all right? Coming together with secular rappers and singers to perform. While of a sudden, these worldly celebrities want to make gospel music. They're not getting saved. They want to attain them. This is not a coincidence, but a part of a plan to deceive the masses the lukewarm, and to build the false church of the Antichrist. That's it right there. These celebrities are not coming to get saved, but to promote a false unity and mixing with the world and sin. Satan knows. Satan knows. He just needs Christians to be lukewarm, to be spewed out and rejected by Jesus Christ. And he's using these worldly famous people to do just that. That's self-explanatory. I'm not going to be on here long. I don't have to. I'm not going to try to convince anybody of anything. You see it. Snoop won a whole gospel award and the next week was on stage cussing, fussing, smoking. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear all that. There's no change of evidence. There's no change. Point blank in the story. So what I'm saying is that this is the great falling away. I pray that y'all don't fall away from the truth. And that's what people are doing. And the only reason y'all falling away, it, it, let, let's, let, let me hit it like this. If Jesus Christ was here right now, would he approve? And don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Because if you read that Bible, and that's, that's most of the problem. Let's just, let's just cut it and let's be real about it. You know what most of the problem is? Y'all don't know y'all Bible. You're not reading Bible. You're going to church listening to the pastor, the preacher, the teacher, the apostle. Because if you was reading your Bible, you would understand that this is not biblical. What they're doing is not biblical. What they're saying is not biblical. What Kanye doing is not biblical. But it looks good. Oh, and one thing about the world, since y'all so prosperity driven, that's what's driving y'all. Oh, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> this is funny, but it's not so funny. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So with that being said, I think you all know what time it is. So I just pray that you write. The Bible says rightly divide the word of God line upon line, precept upon precept. That means the principle of God stands. I don't care what y'all say. Hallelujah. They didn't like Jesus. They didn't like the apostles. And I really don't care if they don't like me for the truth. Paul says, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Most of y'all just, man, you better get it together. Quit playing. 
That's all I got to say. I'm not going to stay long on this subject because we're not, we're not getting ready to fight. That's what the enemy wants. Divide and conquer. We pray for them, but we ain't supposed to mix with them because all it is is mockery. Like, I don't know if y'all know, and I put it on my page. The week before Kanye went to um, Joe Osteen Church, he did a whole concert at Astroworld with his brother-in-law, which is a Satan, and with Marilyn Manson, and they burned the Bible. You're not supposed to have any fellowship. So if it was authentic, who he was and what he's doing, there is no way he would have been part of that. Let, let, me, let me leave you with this question. If I'd have went to that concert and, and performed on stage, y'all have roasted me. So what y'all doing with him? Hello? Talk to me. Somebody. Anybody. <laughs> Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. <laughs> All right. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. L let me get that scripture. I'm going to end with this scripture again. Ephesians 5.11 says, and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Uh-oh, that knocks y'all out the box talking about people judging. Reprove means come against. Look it up in the dictionary. All right, God bless y'all. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.